Dear learner, welcome to our competency-based digital lessons. Our learning area in this digital lesson is science and technology for grade 5. In this lesson, we will answer this question, what is the economic importance of fungi? Specifically, we will briefly discuss about mushroom farming. In a competency-based education program, you are enabled to become an engaged, empowered, and ethical citizen. The goal is to nurture your full abilities. We urge you to believe in yourself. We encourage you to explore your interests and talents. Become the best version of yourself. You have what it takes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Appreciate the economic importance of fungi 2. Appreciate mushroom farming as an economic activity and therefore a source of income and 3. Observe and discuss the safety precautions to take when handling harmful fungi Dear learner, welcome to this digital lesson. You have learnt about fungi in your science and technology for grade 5. You have identified fungi in your locality. You identified bread mold, puffballs, yeast, and mushrooms. You also stated the importance of fungi to human beings. This lesson gives you more information about mushroom farming as an agribusiness. This word is short for agricultural business. As you have learnt in your science and technology for grade 5, mushrooms are fungi. They are edible fungi. Edible means that they can be eaten. Mushrooms are rich in nutrients. They are a great source of proteins and vitamins. It is important to note that not all mushrooms are edible. Some are highly poisonous. The kinds of mushrooms that are edible include butter mushrooms and oyster. Do you farmers in your area grow mushrooms? Find out from your family members or people in your community. Request an adult to arrange a visit to a mushrooms farm. Mushroom farmers report that you can begin farming with as little as 500 Kenya shillings. From this investment, you can make up to about 8,000 Kenya shillings. What do you need to begin growing your mushrooms? The first thing you need is a mushroom farmhouse. This can be made of wood and covered with a black polythene liner. There are farmers who use grass thatched mud houses. The mud walls provide a good environment for the mushrooms to germinate and grow well. The temperatures in a mushroom farmhouse are kept low. The levels of humidity must be kept right. The house must be well ventilated. You do not need very expensive air conditioning equipment. You can use simple, affordable, and readily available materials. The mushroom house is covered completely so that it remains dark. Inside a mushroom house, you can construct wooden shelves. There are farmers who grow mushrooms in plastic bins. These have become popular with the ban of polythene bags from the Kenyan market. It is an innovative and inexpensive way of planting mushrooms. The bins can be reused time and again, as you will learn later under environment. One way of managing solid wastes is by reusing. There are farmers who stuff the gas in the bins. The gas refer to the remains of sugar cane stalks after the juice is extracted. The gas is freely available in sugar factories in Kenya. It is treated as factory waste. 
Farmers without bagasse use coffee husks, rice husks, dry banana leaves, and groundnut shells, among other agricultural wastes. A kilogram of mushrooms can sell for up to 500 Kenya shillings. Major hotels in Nairobi and other big towns buy them and cook delicious meals and soups for their customers. There are farmers who grow mushrooms in large volumes and an export to the European market. In this way they are able to provide for their families. Some farmers who train how to grow mushrooms become trainers as well. They train other people in their communities at a fee. And here is our segment that is aimed at developing a better you. In this lesson, let's focus on your safety. There are several types of mushrooms which are highly poisonous. They can cause serious illness and even death. Some have names such as Death Cap and Destroying Angel. These names suggest that these fungi are highly poisonous and can kill. Some mushrooms attack body organs such as the liver and kidneys. Some affect the eyesight cause sweating, vomiting and diarrhea. Some are poisonous when eaten raw. Poisonous mushrooms have a skirt on the stem. The stem looks like it is swelling at the base, and they often have white gills. Dear learner, here is a task for you. Imagine that your teacher is organizing a study trip to a mushroom's farm. Write down seven questions that you will ask the farmer. Discuss your questions with other learners, your family members, your friends at home and in school, and people in your community. Find out if any member of your family would be interested to try out mushroom farming. Dear learner, that is it for now. Goodbye thank you for participating in this digital lesson.